All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So it's more tinkering. So I have just shoved the shower tent underneath the tarp awning. I was thinking of a way I could do this in case I just needed to take a quick shower and I didn't want to stake it down and the wind was blowing. You know, it's so lightweight that the wind will just blow it over with any little breeze. So I can just stick it up under the tarp awning and the tension from everything just holds it in place so I could get a quick shower. And then I started moving it around to different places. Up here in the front, I could just quickly hook it over the rear view side mirrors. Here's another shot from that way. Just uh, trying things out. Just trying to prepare for the days I need to take a quick shower. Because there's times I just don't want to take the time to stake it down. And I'm just looking for options. Okay, pardon the socks. They got wet. I'm just trying to dry them out. So this is what I found here after I tinkered some more. If I put a bungee cord between this guide wire and this guide wire, it makes it even tighter. Look how tight that tarp is. It's like a plank up. It's like a piece of plywood up there. It's so tight. It's holding up to the wind really well. Even though the wind has stopped all of a sudden as soon as I started the video. Okay, so let's bring you back up to speed in case you missed the last few videos. So I've added a tarp pole here in the across the front to keep the tarp even tighter. And in the last video, I had done a test hole just on one side here. And I went ahead and drilled all the way through. So that just slides down over this peg here coming up off of this pole and this side all you have to do is just put this peg that comes off of this tarp pole through the little loop in the guide wire there keeps the front nice and tight I've even thought about putting a loop of cord through this hole there to attach to this pole but I don't think that's even necessary but then again, I do love to tinker, so probably on the next video you'll see that. <laughs> it's way better. It's a day of tinkering. So yesterday, this battery did not quite get charged, so I put it out again today. And let's see how we're coming along. 5.9 amps coming in out of a 110 watt panel. Usually on a 100 watt panel, all you're going to see is 5 amps. I've seen this thing up to 6.1 before. It's an incredible panel. EcoFlow. So it's a hot day today. So this is what I do to stay cool. I open all the doors and put my screens up. I have this screen. It's attached up here with magnets. Then I stick another here. And on around in various places around the corner there, one down there. And I forgot to put one there. I just put a alligator clip there to give it some weight. Around the side here, you know, I've got this other one that's got magnets already built in. You just let go. And it sticks to the door. I always keep this window up. Since this door is open, that's good enough. And on this side, I put up another screen with magnets and then roll the window down. So I get a cross breeze this way. And then with the back door open, I get some breeze coming in that way. And it stays pretty cool. Especially with the awning up because you can see the shadow against the side of the van there and without the awning that would be the sun beaming against the side of the van getting it really hot in there but it stays pretty cool like that i think my socks are about dry i'm heating up some shower water i think i've got about a gallon and a half in there and about 2.30 in the afternoon, it'll be good and hot. And I'll put my shower tent up. 
and get a good shower. I just got to decide where I want to put it. I don't want to take the time to stake it down. So I may just stick it up under the awning there. And the tension from the tarp awning holds it in place, you know, because it's a snug fit under there because the shower tent is pretty tall. I've got some new neighbors down here. I have not even seen them. They've been so quiet. And then over here to the south, I have a new neighbor. Let's see. That must be a really popular campsite because there's always somebody in that spot. The road goes on back under those power lines there. I don't know how far it goes back, but I've seen a lot of people go back there. mountain so pretty all right let me zoom it out that may be too close that looks good okay so today will be filled with tinkering and showering and that's pretty much all I've got on the docket for today so there's the unorganized campsite stuff kind of strewn about That'll probably end up getting on my nerves and I'll have to straighten some things up. Put things in the place they need to be in. Okay, until next time, have a happy Monday. Take care, be well, and smash the bell. Mm -hmm.